Hi guys, Andy Buck here again. Thanks for the great feedback on the uh, review I did of the Rode SmartLav Plus. Uh, you can see I'm actually recording the audio for this video on the SmartLav Plus again. And the reason I'm making this video is because I had a lot of inquiries on Twitter about how to sync externally recorded audio, such as the audio I'm recording right now, to a video. Uh, because a lot of the sound, ca uh, sound capture from video cameras is not that great and the sound you get from external mics is usually way better. So I use a program called ScreenFlow. It's a screen capture program or software that I use to make ScreenFlow videos off my desktop or my laptop, uh, but it's actually a great simple video editing software package as well. So I'm gonna show you a little ScreenFlow demo now about how I sync externally recorded audio to video. Okay, we're going to show you how to drop externally recorded audio into a video. So this is the intro to this video that you can see that I just recorded a few minutes ago. So what I'm going to do is to show you how to detach the audio from the camera and insert the audio from the Rode SmartLav mic. So essentially you just drag and drop your video clip in and you can see it's audio and video combined and all you do is just go right click and go detach audio. So you can see now up here I've got the video and the audio. And the key to syncing audio to video is you need some kind of clap or spike in the audio. And you can see there, that's the little spike. It's worth just doing some little test runs with the audio from the camera just to see where exactly that spike hits in relation to your clap. So you can see it's pretty much just at the start and maybe right as it spikes there because you're going to want to sync your external audio to that clap as well. So all you do is you detach the audio, you right click on this, or actually you just click on it and hit delete and that's gone. Then you just go, you can see this is my Rode SmartLav recordings. This is synced straight from the app to my Dropbox and it's recording six. And I'm just going to drop that in. And you can see in that audio, there's a little spike there. I'm just going to maybe shorten this a little bit so I can drag it across a bit more easily. Uh, maybe a little bit more because it's covered it up. A bit like that. And then what you're going to do is sync up that spike in that new audio with that hand clap. So we're just going to run back and forth through this a few times to make sure it syncs up. So it's probably a little bit behind there. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. The other thing you can do, if you're having trouble getting it to line up, if you find the audio that you're sliding back and forth down here is jumping and sticking in certain positions, go to view snapping and take snapping off. And that just sometimes allows you to just move it a bit more smoothly. So I'll just see, I'll get it to the point where my hands are actually just touching about there. Just get that audio spike there and we'll just see what happens. I'm gonna play it now. It's pretty good. Now, just watch my lips and the audio coming out of this and see if it looks synced. Hi guys, Andy Buck here again. Thanks for the great feedback on the uh, review I did of the Rode SmartLav Plus. Uh, you can see I'm actually recording the audio for this video on the SmartLav Plus. So it's pretty good. Might be just slightly out of sync, but you get the gist, yeah? So you essentially just do some kind of visual clap. And this is what the Hollywood guys use those clapboards for because you can see the moment the board touches and they have timers and things on them as well. Then that's when you want to sync your audio spike. And that's it. It's pretty simple. So you just sync it up and then we'll just play one more example. Actually, we'll jump forward a bit and see how, it's, how synced it is. A video uh, because a lot of the sound, ca uh, sound capture from video cameras is not that great. So look, that's pretty good. I might make a little separate video that shows you how to um, actually edit the audio before you drop it in, uh, and we'll do that next time. So I hope you found that useful. Just a quick little tip on how to sync externally recorded audio to video.